and gentlemen, welcome to the launching and christening of the HOS Blackfoot, the sixth of 10 302 foot platform supply vessels, which we here at Eastern are building for our valued customer, Hornbeck Offshore of Covington, Louisiana. <clears throat> to my left, you see Hull 7, which will get wet in two months. Hull 8 behind us, Hull 9 to the west, and Hull 10 in various pieces around the yard. In addition to these 10 vessels, Hornbeck has entrusted us with the privilege of building two larger multi-purpose support vessels uh, with 250-ton uh, cranes, and they'll be built over here on the northwest corner of the basin where we're constructing for that job, a brand new rocker beam launch system. We thank Hornbeck Offshore for their confidence in Eastern Shipbuilding. I think that confidence is justified. We just left Hull 204 down uh, undergoing sea trials down at the port. She'll be delivered two and a half weeks early. We just left Hull 205 at the paper mill. Uh, she'll have her engines started up within the next week to two weeks and should be delivered early. We have with us Captain Harry Turner, who will be the skipper of the HOS Blackfoot, his lovely wife Lisa, who will break the bottle, and their son Joshua is taking pictures of us as we speak. We have Deacon Earl of uh, uh, St. John's Catholic Church, who will bless the vessel. And of course, we have the Chief Operating Officer of, of uh, Hornbeck Offshore, Carl Anessa, once again, who will say a few words. Thank you, Carl. Great to see the HOS Blackfoot, Hall 206, the second of our Hoss Max 310 class. Um, she follows the HOS Bayou that we launched in late 2013 and the first four hulls of our Hoss Max 300 class uh, that you have built for us at Hornbeck Offshore, the HOS Red Dawn, the Red Rock, the Renaissance, and the River Bend. The first three of the 300 class vessels are working for our customers, supporting deep water Gulf of Mexico drilling, and are building a great reputation for Hornbeck Offshore based upon their performance and a representative quality that's been delivered to us by Eastern Shipbuilding Group and your efforts. We really thank you for that. You may wonder a little bit about our vessel naming at Hornback Offshore. We've had some interesting names, the Red Dawn, the Red Rock, Renaissance, Riverbend, the Bayou, the Blackfoot. We'll have some other B-class vessels that will follow these. When we began the business in 1997, uh, we wanted to keep with the original theme of Hornback Offshore naming our vessels after horses. Um, Mr. Larry Hornback, the original founder of the company, named his vessels after famous racehorses when that business was sold to Tidewater in 1996. Those names went with the furniture. When we began the business again in 1997, we decided to adopt a workhorse theme. And since our very first vessel, the HOS Crossfire, to this vessel, the HOS Blackfoot, um, we wanted to set the standard in the offshore service industry with a connotation of a strong team of workhorses pulling together for our customers and, and opted to name our vessels after Clydesdales. Speaking of workhorses, as I said a minute ago, it's my great pleasure to share the podium today with Captain Turner. Captain Harry Turner joined the company in August of 1999 and has served as a master of many of our vessels, including uh, serial number one, the HOS Crossfire, which he admitted to, to, to me today to ride not quite as nicely as the HOS Renaissance. Um, so I think you guys have nudged me out in that regard, but uh, Harry also served on the Deepwater, the HOS Storm Ridge, the HOS Brimstone, among other ships, and then joined our shore, shore team as a shoreside manager for us in 2006, and has served in that capacity until just the end of 2013, when uh, fascinated by the Hossmax vessels, he, uh, he decided to set down his briefcase and pick up his sea bag again and is now returning to our fleet in a leadership role. We're certainly uh, honored to have Captain Turner serve as the master of the HOS Blackfoot. 
and uh, also consider it quite a privilege that his wife Lisa will uh, christen the vessel for us today. Thank you for all your efforts in, de in delivering uh, to launch another fine vessel for Hornbeck Offshore, and I know that your efforts will be greatly appreciated by Captain Turner and his crew as this vessel is delivered into service for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Deacon. side and I'll take this side, okay? Can we do here? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll put it down. How's that? All right, that'll be fine. Yep. Let's begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today we gather to bless this boat and those who will use it for work or pleasure. The Lord calmed the Sea of Galilee and brought his disciples to safety. We commend those who sail this craft into his care. Let's listen now to the reading from the words of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus got into a boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But Jesus was asleep the disciples came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. Jesus said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this whom even the winds and the sea obey? O oh Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. How glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted the majesty above the heavens. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet all sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. Praise the name of the Lord, whose name alone is exalted. Are you ready? At the command of the Son of God, the sea was calmed and the nets were filled to overflowing let us call upon Christ with faith as we say, Guide us safely, Lord. In the face of wind and rain, we pray, Guide us safely, Lord. In the stillness and calm of the sea, we pray, Guide us safely, Lord. In our respect for the world's natural resources, we pray, Guide us safely, Lord. In remembrance of those who labored at sea and have gone to their rest, we pray, Guide us safely, Lord. Christ taught us to call upon the Father, and so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of boundless love, at the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deep. You called forth every creature, and the seas teem with life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us the rich harvest of salvation. Bless this boat, and all who use it, Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain and all the perils of the deep. May Christ, who calmed the storm and filled the nets of his disciples, bring us all to the harbor of light and peace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the saving power of our Lord guide and protect you now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you, Deacon Earl. You, you, you can stay here and get you can stay here and get wet. <laughs> Thank you all for the opportunity. Thank you, Hornback, for letting me have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Thank you to all the men and women of Eastern Shipbuilding for your service. And uh, I now, I now christen the HOS Blackfoot. God bless the ship and all who sail on her. One, two, three. Wow! <laughs> Out of the ballpark. That's the best ever. Thank you.